This reminds me of the article. Um, and I, I kind of wanted to share it with you. The article is about what's called metabolic syndrome. And myself, even after I finished reading the article, I had to kind of look at it again to say, what are they really talking about? But metabolic syndrome apparently is a, an amalgamation of different criterions that the end result is that you have a greater propensity to cardiovascular disease that includes strokes and heart attacks okay it has a lot to do with insulin resistance now insulin resistance doesn't necessarily mean diabetic state okay in fact um, the insulin resistance is um, sometimes hard to elucidate um, but tied into it is a disposition towards also hypertension of course there are certain criteria that lend to the diagnosis of uh, what they call metabolic syndrome and I just wanted to share that with you quickly because I just wanted to also show you in writing what was you know it makes common sense but sometimes when you see it in writing it just lends a little bit more efficaciously so, as I said, this was my article I was reading on metabolic syndrome. And, of course, we're not going through the article. You don't have time for all of that. But just to give you the criteria, waist circumference, women greater than 35 inches. I am 36. I keep saying, so I figure you're a little bit more than 36. Is that right? In the blood, if the triglycerides is greater than that, if your cholesterol, excuse me, big, big log of sweat, sir, mm -hmm. I take that out of camera. <laughs> this is your good cholesterol, this one, HDL. So if the good cholesterol is low, that's not good for you. You understand? You have bad cholesterol and good cholesterol. If the blood pressure is greater than this, mm -hmm. that's not good. Okay? And if your fasting glucose is greater than 110, it's kind of suggestive that you have this kind of one. It's called insulin resistance. So these are the criteria. If you have three out of these, you qualify for metabolic syndrome. And as I said, the disposition, and I'm not telling you anything you don't know, is disposition to strokes and heart attacks. Right. Which is really the ticket that most people use to go home. This is what I wanted to tell you uh, a week ago, and also I stopped smoking. Terrific. Okay. Because the other week um, I was leaving work, and I don't know whether it's called a panic attack or not, but my chick, I had a hard time breathing, and it felt like my, like like this. And I was like, I had to take deep breaths all the way home. I was driving, and I was like, I felt like I was going to faint. That's a outside. week ago. Yeah. Uh huh. So how long that syndrome lasted for you? Until I got home, maybe about a half an hour. Okay. Once you got home, you were. I started like calming too. down. Yeah. Okay. And it it went away. I sat up yeah. for a while, but um, that's the second one I had. Okay. The first one was at the other job, and this one was at the job that Okay, you still taking all those medicines, the Seroquel, the Abilify, the... No, more, the only thing I'm taking now is the Topamax and the, um, the, the, the um, stool softener and the Biox. The okay, the Coilase. And, yeah, and um, sometimes, well, she wanted me to stop taking the Seroquel, the sleeping medicine, but I still have a hard time sleeping. Okay, okay. But that's it. Great. Yes. I, and I just wanted to read this with you. Mm -hmm. Current recommendations for therapy for this kind of metabolic syndrome, right? Focuses on correction of the components of the hypertension, the cholesterol problems, the, you know, obesity, mm -hmm. and the abnormal glucose tolerance. It has been said many times and in many ways, but the fact remains that exercise, diet, and weight loss, each independently improves insulin resistance and reduces progression to type 2 diabetes and end results you know kind of um, is therapeutic towards metabolic syndrome that leads to so it's just a, everybody knows this but it's just a, another way of just saying to you don't give up you, you can't give up the only time you give up is when you're six foot under and even then I don't think it's a good time to give up either <laughs> Thank you.
Kennett. They are not.